All right, this is our 13th week, which kind of corresponds to the uh, uh, chapters in the textbook, uh, chapter 13th and chapter 14th that uh, we should be reading right now. And it's covering uh, the design of graphics classes for a small graphics library that we're trying to use in our laboratory exercises. And before we continue with um, the uh, with the with the current lab lab uh, lab two, uh, which we already started last week, um, we, I would like to um, more or less uh, formally go go over the topics of uh, C plus plus class inheritance. So so the idea is that um, I'll make uh, this quick demonstration. Uh, I already started project for our week uh, right here. And uh, for instance, um, I may de declare a structure name point. And inside the structure name point, uh, I may declare variables integer uh, x and integer y. Right, so it's a pretty simple structure to capture uh, points in a 2D space uh, if we, we'd like to use this point in graphics. Then I'm thinking about a couple of um, uh, graphics, uh, graphical primitives. And the uh, point itself could be used as a, like a pixel to, to display on the screen. But uh, also I'm thinking that we could use... Um, structure structure name a circle for instance circle and uh, it might contain uh, it could contain a point center so this is uh, basically a composition of point and a circle. And it also may need to have an integer radius. All right, for a proper creation of a circle, if I, for instance, would like to create a circle, like this, uh, perhaps um, from its um, uh, beginning of existence, I would like to provide the point for the center, which may be like, uh, I don't know, 10 and 20 pixels inside my window or whatever is my view uh, that is available um, as a window. Perhaps it could be the full screen that is available. And I'd like to specify the radius. Let's say uh, 35 is my radius. So for something like this to work, uh, we can just try to sort of uh, try building this program right now and see what what this does. So this uh, doesn't really go uh, very well because it just says uh, cannot convert uh, initializer list to point. So basically on, on, this, uh, on this line right here, you see the indicator for this error when I double click this error inside Visual Studio error list, uh, which is pretty much the first error that I'm getting. Um, it just uh, tries something which fails and then it says no constructor could take whatever it's trying to take. That means that we need to be able to initialize our circle with these uh, uh, first time parameters. Uh, we have to add a constructor. And I will add this plural constructors comment here because uh, we can have more than one constructor inside our structure or class. So the constructor will look like this. 
circle. Uh, can, um, um, compiler will recognize uh, a circle um, a constructor by the fact that it has the same name as the structure name. Right? So the same name used inside means constructor of this object. And uh, for this constructor, constructor is a function. I need to specify that it is expecting point, which is called center, right? The center, the, the location of the center of the circle, and an integer radius, right? An integer radius. And so this constructor has to be um, has to basically take these two parameters and uh, populate uh, this point and this radius with, uh, with, with the copies of these parameters. So this can be done through, uh, I will just do it uh, sort of like inline without creating an additional file for this. So we will do like one of the possibilities may be, which which we could do is that we can say that we want to say um, this object uh, uh, center equals center and uh, likewise uh, this object uh, this object uh, This object uh, radius equals radius. This is one possibility that uh, when you when you give um, a copy of of an object to uh, to the to this constructor as a parameter, you can just copy this over to here to by saying uh, this. This is a is a uh, pointer to to an object in memory, and uh, so this also is called a pointer to member the reference operator. So this is kind of pretty pretty fancy uh, uh, um, technical details about this, but this is showing that we're taking this parameter center and radius two parameters, right, and we store them inside of our objects. So that's the responsibility of the constructor to populate the object with initial values. So let me build this. Um, and it still doesn't, uh, doesn't like. Um, hmm. Let me see. Um, so it says no constructor could take the source type of constructor overload resolution was ambiguous. So let me see what does this um, what is this error? One second. 